Deux femmes vers droite. Ah là là, c'est parti, on voit bien les coups d'oreille. Ah bah s'il vous plaît, Isabelle. Vous en avez Voilà. À droite, s'il vous plaît. Vous avez la prise. Allez vers la gauche, Isabelle, s'il vous plaît. Et si on peut faire sans les prises Merci beaucoup. Quelqu'un
A traveler's, a traveler's needs. needs. The press conference for this competition film from Korea by Hong sang so who is an eight-time participant in the Berlin competition, an outstanding original cinema narrator. Two years ago, he received a grand jury prize for his film The Writer. Now he has a French star in the leading role, namely Isabelle Huppert. She has already appeared three times in his films. This time, she plays a woman with no past who is stranded in Korea, penniless, mysterious, and always barefoot. A multilingual comedy. Yes, but it's Iris. Iris? Not Iris. No, Iris. People make mistakes. Oh, uh, please uh, come up to second floor. It's 101. Uh, I'll open the door. Okay, I'll go up to 101. Okay, thank you very much. Please take your seats. <laughs> Sit down. 
Welcome to the Berlinale, the 74th Berlin International Film Festival and the press conference for A Traveler's Knees by Hong Sang Soo, which premieres tonight in the competition. This is the 31st film by Hong Sang Soo, the seventh film he's had in the Berlin competition, the fifth film he's had in the last five years in Berlin. He's won four Silver Bears. He's made 10 films with Quan Haio. He's made three films with his Belle Pair and he has six credits on this film. So before we begin, let me introduce everyone at the table, starting on the far left, Kim Sung yeon actress. Hi. Cho yoon hee Kwon Ha-yo. The director, writer, cinematographer, producer, editor, and composer, Hong sang Soo. She has two films screening today at the Berlinale, Isabelle Huppert. <laughs> and also back from last year's in Water, Ha Song Guk. We have a question right there to start. Then the woman. Hi, uh, Derek Radio, Bulgaria. I'm Lazar Krisim. I have a question for you, uh, uh, Ms. Huppert. Um, Congratulations, first and foremost, on the, for the wonderful movie. It's very subtle. It's very, uh, uh, yeah, it's very subtle and it's very uh, emotional. And the cinem cinematography is really, really good. And my short question is the following: How did you approach this character, and why did you, uh, uh, what, what attracted you the most to approach this film? As, a, um, as an actress? Uh, what really uh, attracted me in the first place was the perspective to work with uh, Hong Song Su. I did two other films with uh, Hong Song Su, and uh, his way of making films is unique. <laughs> I only know him for doing films like this. And um, so I was enthusiastic about uh, repeating. Uh, the experience. Um, in fact, it's very difficult to project yourself in in a, in, in a story or in a role because there is no role and no story. So, <laughs> uh, and this is what I really like about it. There is a much more than a role and much more than a story. There is just um, a way to capture um, the present moment and to capture a certain state of a person confronting a certain world and so you just have to be very much open to this to this vision and um, and this is really what I like about working with Hong is that you cannot really uh, go in any way the same way that I you usually go with another director or with another way of working it's really a unique experience because you can't uh, again uh, there is no you can't say that you have a, a character and at the end of the day you really have a character and you have something somebody unique because I've seen the film and uh, I was so touched because I think that the film says so much about someone's uh, loneliness someone's attempt to live <laughs> just to live <laughs> simply and uh, to connect with other people. So I think at the, at the end, he really makes some kind of very philosophical statement about what it means to be alive, what it means to be a human being, what it means to be alone, and what it means to be together. So it's a lot of <laughs> very important subject matters. And um, so that's what I really liked about doing the film. OK, right there. Hello, uh, Lomax Cinema from France. Uh, thank you very much for your beautiful movie. I have two simple questions from uh, the director, Mr. Hong Sang Soo. The first one is, uh, do you nowadays uh, see yourself more as a poet or as a filmmaker? And the second one is, why in this movie uh, everyone drinks uh, makegoli instead of suju? <laughs> oh, I... I cannot, uh, uh, 
I cannot and I don't want to uh, see myself as something. Okay, so it always a uh, hindrance. It it doesn't help if you have something in front of you and you are running for it, then you lose all this uh, organic movement, whatever, inside you. So you, you cannot help, you cannot help have something uh, in front of you from time to time, but not so much. So you have some objective for a while, you have some pretext to go somewhere, but uh, during this process of going there, uh, what, what can happen is uh, much, much more than the, what you aim for. So in life, in, as a human being, is making, feeling, same thing. So I don't, of course I like people who call themselves as a poet. I like their works, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And about Macaulay, uh, <laughs> because I'm now older, I guess, I have to be careful. I cannot handle the soju anymore, like I used to be. I, Uh, it's Yanis Rauzeos from uh, my film Dodgyar, an uh, excellent film. Uh, I'd like to address a question to the director uh, and another one to Miss Per. First of all, uh, how much you feel this whole existential complex of characters and the certain, let's say, uh, detachment that there is in the camera. Uh, approaching, approaching all these characters is affecting the way that you, you try to describe the narrative of loneliness, truly speaking. And also, I uh, would like to ask Miss Per how much her character is losing at the beginning herself inside this inner journey and how much the other characters somehow are reflecting her own journey in many aspects. I, in my, this might sound very, very irresponsible, and, but um, I don't know what I am doing in a way. I, as I said to her, this, uh, I have some objective and I have a kind of a recognized working uh, method that I, I like, I have developed, and I believe in a certain, how can I say, um, happening between people, me and Isabel, me and the weather, me and the places, all these things happen. I want to have this, uh, my script, my uh, few objective uh, lead to the more uh, abundant uh, place where more things happen. And then I try to just capture them and then arrange them in a more, Natural way, <laughs> natural way, yeah, anyway, yeah. so. Um, you, says, you said that I'm losing something? Yes. Well, I don't have much to lose. <laughs> losing herself somehow inside certain sense of uh, let's say loneliness and this thing is reflecting around and is being represented in the other characters somehow like the other characters have a picture of her own projection inside yeah but she tries to um, constantly to well by questioning everybody in a very 
uh, obsessive way because she keeps questioning people and always asking the same uh, question, which I think is very funny most of the time. But uh, it's it's almost like a, um, she's, she's she's forcing everybody she meets uh, becoming aware of something and coming to terms or dealing with some kind of um, of problems in a way. So she's um, like um, she forces them to tell themselves kind of truth. That's how she. Uh, I think uh, happens to be, you know, like a, not like a guide, but someone who really reveals people as she meets them. And um, that's maybe why she drinks Macaulay herself, I don't know, <laughs> to forget about that. Because she has a certain consciousness of what the world is. And um, yeah, she wants to, to make people be become conscious of themselves in a very, um, um, of course, um, she's very malicious too. She knows what she's doing, but I think she's, she makes people kind of a, um, questioning themselves all the time. Oh, over here. Uh, thank you for your body of work. Um, I really enjoy your films and your collaborations, especially with Lee Hye Young and Cho Yun Hee and Isabel Huppert, of course. Um, I was just wondering why you chose not to use inner monologue in this film. I particularly like when you, in, you incorporate that into your other films. Thank you. Why not using monologue? Uh, um, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> oh, I should, uh, all the uh, important decision uh, comes to me like uh, it comes to me. So um, sometimes I want to do Zoom, sometimes I want to uh, do this and do that, but more, more important questions are always like uh, I feel like it, it was given to me. So, uh, so I don't have this um, analysis and uh, aiming and uh, things like that. I don't have uh, first this effect, you know, in my mind. You know, I want to create this effect in audience mind, things like that. Um, I I I choose these people. If I can use that word, choose I. I uh, I just meet this uh, certain, how can I say, living thing, <laughs> human being, weather, and this uh, places. And I don't know why I choose. I can come up with some reason, but uh, they, that's very, uh, not, it doesn't uh, include anything. <laughs> it's just a reason, you know. Oh, so, and I choose and I believe in my process and then I just go for it and something always come to me and so you question why not using monologue I, I never thought about that yeah. okay. hi uh, Federico Grandeso. Um, how was this collaboration with um, Isabel Huppert? If you can tell me something about how you went through this journey with such important, incredible actress. Oh, uh, she, <laughs> she's a uh, naturally uh, very brave, very intelligent person, I think. Um, and I just, uh, I just like to, uh, how can I say? I just believe in, I think, her 
as a human being and uh, artist. So, oh, oh, I, when I first worked with her in a feeling called in another country, uh, inside I really I was really surprised. She came to Korea all by herself, without anyone supporting her. And uh, we were staying in a small, uh, small uh, seashore town, and she couldn't eat what she wanted to eat. And well, she didn't complain. She was always uh, energetic. And then I just wrote something, and then she, I gave to her, and. Uh, when she acted, uh, I was uh, very, um, very surprised. I was very happy. And then oh, many other things. Yeah, I just, she's so brave, naturally, and very intelligent. <laughs> of course, talented. <laughs> uh, so I'm just, just happy to be with her and, and I'm working with her. Claudia Schulmerich, Frankfurt am Main, Weltexpresso. Um, when Sie, the Regisseur, Ihre Arbeit when you, the director, do your work, when you, the director, want to describe your work, it doesn't sound like Korean filmmaking, and I can judge that because I spent some time in Korea. I've never seen people so keen to actually work as in Korea. And Germans like to work, but I felt um, I was not working enough. So a question on the second scene. Did you need to have a European in there in order to show a Korean woman who is well off but to sort of show her that her self-optimization was reaching limits, that there are questions. I'm referring to the scene where the second woman is there when they had this, this drink together. And the working method of this odd teacher, she doubts that. How about a textbook? Where is this? Where is that? Where's the other? And it seems so typical for Germany and Korea I, I could really understand how that woman doubted what she saw. And that's why I'm asking, did you need to put a European woman in there to make a Korean woman doubt whether she's using the right methods? Oh, <laughs> 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 um, first of all, I don't I believe in uh, the usefulness of generalization about anything uh, about Korean people, or uh, character, or whatever. Um, Ah, again, very irresponsible uh, uh, answer, but I don't know, it's just so... Uh, okay, many things I think, many things I experience, I feel, and uh, these things are here, here. And then, as I said about this uh, process, I choose very intuitively a certain person and place and date and uh, weather comes to me and then all these things inside me just come out every day, uh, line by line. Um, I used to uh, try to make some reason why I did this, and, but it's uh, in a way a lie, uh, you know. So just that's what I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, maybe it's too... Uh, okay, I tried to answer anyway. 
Yeah, this is Mark Arapetian, founder and publisher of Spirit, the Smile and the Storm, a film magazine I do since my 16th living year. I love this film a lot. It's one of my favorites uh, this year. And all actors in it, especially Cho Jun-hee and of course also Isabel. And Isabel, before I forget, uh, our common friend Mathieu Carrière is sending greetings to you. He talked to me before. And um, was it difficult for you, Isabel, to first to act in a Korean film because of the different culture? As we, I listened uh, that you come alone first to Korea, or did it give you more liberty, maybe, to do this job? Because it shows your uh, another face of you, your of your facility. Thank you. Oh, I say hello to Mathieu as well. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, by no means it was uh, not difficult, as I said at the beginning. Uh, uh, Hong Song Su has a unique way of working, but I, I feel not only completely free, but also very, well, creative might not be the right word, but I feel full of imagination when I work with him. I mean, his way of doing it is really very special because <laughs> he gives you the lines sometimes the day before, but most of the time the same uh, morning as we shoot. And um, and I really like this uh, way of doing. I like the way, uh, the fact that I, we don't know anything about what he's going to do. It might sound, when you say it like this, it might sound like something impossible to to master or to control, but on the, it's the total opposite actually, because it leaves, all door opens and it's each day it's like a, a miracle because you find yourself doing things I don't know it's from the setting from the dialogues from the situations and uh, uh, it's so rich it's so uh, um, inspiring that it, it it gives you the many many um, yeah you, I, I never question myself and I never say to myself, what am I going to do? What am I playing? What, uh, no, the, the, also the, just, the, the, just the situations of being who I am, most of the time surrounded with people that I don't understand. Or, so you immediately feel the, the, the richness of the situation. You know, people trying to be together, coming from such different places, such different worlds, and yet trying to make something in common. And that's exactly what it is when I make movies uh, in Korean, uh, not in, in Korea, not in Korean, not yet in Korean, soon to be, but not yet. <laughs> so, uh, and you have also the, the language differences, which is so interesting and so fascinating because beyond those differences, be, be, well, of course, I speak English in the film to make it as a common language, but still, there is something that you try to make exist beyond the language, beyond, and so that's how you reach more mental spaces and, and realize that, yes, you have something to share, you have something to, in common, in a way, and, uh, and I think that's what exactly is at work uh, when you make movies with uh, Hong, when I make movies with uh, Hong Song Su at least, and um, so it's uh, it's really again a, a special experience. But it's funny because also uh, along the three films we did together, I find myself being more or less the same kind of a not the same kind of character because I played each time uh, different characters, if I can call it a character, but. Uh, with something in common, I don't know, with a certain, like I was all um, um, surprised <laughs> to meet who I meet and to meet, uh, to do what I do, and you feel that all along the films, uh, and uh, with a great sense of humor also, because most of the situations are also very funny. Um, but it always happens like a miracle, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's really nice. <laughs> We have time for one more question over there. Uh, thanks so much. It, it was a fantastic film. Uh, uh, finally, about a woman and about uh, aging uh, and about loneliness. Um, that's uh, we all 
space generally. Uh, and uh, I had a question, this method of uh, learning a language, uh, does it exist or uh, you just made it up for this film? Because I oh, yeah. find it a fantastic method of learning through emotion. <laughs> I made it up, but uh, maybe... I don't know whether it would work in uh, real life, but I just made up that way. Maybe one more, because we know the short one. <laughs> Over there. Yes, hello. <clears throat> hello, my name is Olga Galpirovich. I'm from Belarus. Um, so I would like to ask, uh, actually, continue this question, because I was also impressed about this method. And the thing is that I'm living in uh, China for a long time, so um, I wanted to ask you, um, was it uh, Isabel Huppert? Uh, and um, I would like to ask you, was it for you a discovery, this uh, complete another state of mind, which is Asian people actually having, in a scene of uh, how those ladies, like uh, Kim, Se the character of Kim Sin Yoon, uh, was answering your question, because this is, I am living there since a very long time, and I recognize it very well. So I mean, like for me, it was interesting. Did you personally did discover something as a European to be in Asia and? this way of Asian people taking the emotions and um, uh, loneliness in the same way. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm not sure I discovered anything. Uh, I'd met people coming from Asia before and, uh, and of course, yes, I can recall that sometimes we might not have same ways of expression or same, but there is um, also something very delicate in all these uh, exchanges, something very um, poetic. So, um, and again, something very, um, um, oh, there is a, a capacity, well, which of course is at work in the film, uh, to say certain things, to go quite far in the questions and remaining uh, really, um, pleasant and, and nice and, and gentle. So I think, I don't know if it's anything specifically uh, Asian, but uh, it's certainly something that um, is uh, all uh, at the time at work, all the time in, uh, in uh, there is no conflicts or no aggression. And yet you go into something, you go quite far in what is uh, being discussed, you know? And, uh, but it's always in a, in a certain tone. But I'm sure there is other ways to do it and to express things. But in, in this case, that's what it is. Okay, before we end, I just want to say that um, all the other actors on the stage also do a great job of this film. It's extremely impressive performances. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all. And I want to thank Hong Cheng Xu for letting us show his films here in the last five years. We, we, uh, we really appreciate okay. it, and we hope to see him in the future. Thank you very much.